Yeah, so guys, the reason why I replaced the CB headlights to begin with was because, as you can see here, the internal reflectors all started to rust away, which doesn't look really nice on the car. They were really good headlights, done well at night time, but yeah, just unfortunately they've started to corrode on the inside. Now I don't know how you get the glass out of these, I'm sure there's a way, there must be. So maybe one day I can try and tackle that and restore them, but just now, yeah, they'll get put on the shelf for maybe, I don't know, <laughs> 10 years, <laughs> who knows. Now these new LED headlights were well, meant to be for a, a Jeep. Wrangler or Land Rover Defender, but uh, just the standard seven-inch headlight. We've got a halo ring, low and high beam, just to make sure it's all legal in the UK. And I had to get these stainless steel uh, headlamp housings. We got them from America because, unfortunately. These 7 inch headlights wouldn't fit as the old CV housings. So, not good. That was a bit of a pain in the arse, but there we go, we got there in the end. So, yeah. Installed really easy, just a standard H4 plug with two extra connectors for one for the side lights and the other one to operate the indicator as well. So, the ring will flash orange when the indicator's on, which is pretty cool. Uh yeah. So we got side lights, pit beams, and main beams. And just for fun, here's what it's like with the moon eyes covers on. That's the uh, side lights, tipped beam, and main beam. <laughs> 